Alright, it's Hey here, and I'm going to show you how to avoid getting scammed by these technical support scammers. Alright, so Malwarebytes has a blog that is very helpful for the users that don't know a lot about computers. And it tells you what to look out for. And it tells you all the kind of scamming methods that these guys are using. Okay, so if you take a look here. They got some screenshots of some types of uh, type of scams that they're pulling off. I'm gonna try to open this in a new tab so we can uh, see these images better. Hang on, this will just take a second. And I'll go and I'm gonna go over like all the type of scamming methods they use and break it down. That one's for Mac, we don't want that. Okay. Because in my recent video a lot of these methods have been used against my uh, virtual computers. Alright, so we're going to take a look here. Some, one of the ways they uh, try to scam you. Yeah, I'll show you. Is, uh, show, these are the more common ones. Showing you the prefetch folder in Windows. And they will say here, these are the damage programs that cannot be deleted or even worse, viruses. You need to clean up your PC now. Down here, Malwarebytes have put the facts. These are files that correspond to applications you use. Windows saves these so the next time you open up the application, it launches fast. So, uh, basically, this prefetch folder is not going to have viruses on it. So, if you ever get a technical support person saying these are viruses, he's a liar. Don't fall for it, okay? Here's another example of some of the scams they use. I'm going to delete all these files, wait a few seconds and they'll come back. What this guy is doing is deleting the temp files or the prefetch files. And then on the keyboard, he's using the shortcut control Z to bring the files back and undoing the change that he did by deleting the files. Then pressing control Z, he brings the files back and undoes the delete. Because what this basically does is remove the files to the recycling bin by pressing Control Z that on does the change and brings the files back into that directory. And it makes it look like the files have reappeared. This is just another scamming method. So if you're ever going to get get hit that uh, by that, uh, end the call and it's a scam. Another one. Scammer said these are infected files, worms and trojans. The disk is full of them. You cannot delete such and such file. Access is denied. In the temp file, that is, if he's trying to delete a temp file. Well, that's because simply because the temporary file cannot be deleted because it's in use by another running application. It's another indication of a scam. In Windows, you cannot delete a file that's already active in a process. They also have fake scanners that run fake scans. And it will say this shows several viruses. The scammer will say this shows several viruses found on the computer. They have infected your registry. A program like this is ex extensively a fake antivirus stuffed up with false protections to make you uh, think your computer is infected when it's completely bogus. 
the tree command. This is a one that has been used in my videos a lot. All this command does is when they put that C tree down in here, all it does is show files on your hard drive. There, this has absolutely nothing to do with running the malware and virus scan on the computer. It's just listing files on the hard drive. Here's another one where they copy and paste information into the command prompt saying that the following scan has revealed such and such infections. Again, this message was typed by the scammers and was pasted into the command prompt and is totally fake. You can see here. We'll take another one that they can sometimes do. The red command line terminal. You can actually, in Windows, change the text to the command prompt to make it look red. Red scares people. It's just a tactic. So, uh, when you see that, again, this is not an indication of a virus, it's just fake. The netstack command, how many times have they used this in my recent videos? Hackers have identified problems with people stealing or connecting to your network. They were liable of that. This is a command that displays network connections incoming and outgoing, but it's not necessary to to detect a scan, a hacker, or uh, someone established to your network. If anyone's running the netstack command, these IP addresses, these foreign addresses, are nothing to do with uh, a network attacker or anyone logged on to the network. Sometimes what they do is they will look up on on uh, Wikipedia or this website saying that system files such as rundown32 or crsss.exe is a virus. These can be viruses, but when you're located in the system32 folder, there ain't viruses. They're part of the actual operating system, and they're very, very normal files. Another thing they will lie about is a network access protection agent saying that it's been stopped. Network access protection has been disabled and they'll claim that hackers have established connection to your computer. When in fact a network access protection agent is just a feature that mostly implies to PCs that are connected to a domain. It ensures they adhere to safe, safe standards. Basically what this app does is for people that are running a website or if you have one or more computers on your network. But for most home users, network access protection agent should be off and you do not need it. So don't get conned into having to turn this on. Another thing you'll do is you open up a notepad and a temp folder, a prefetch folder, and you will say that this random text is suspicious. Certain files are not meant to be read with notepad. In particular, executable files need special tools to read their sector sections. Therefore, it's particularly normal to come across a file on your computer that looks similar to this picture. Let's see some other ones. The more common ones I'll get to. This is the very common one, Event Viewer. These, they will say these are errors that are found on the computer. Um, these errors are not viruses. These are standard, normal Windows error reports. It's an application here that will basically address and diagnose certain errors. However, most of these events and notifications are harmless. Again, it's all broken down right here. And here's another one that they commonly use. System configuration utility services that are being stopped by the Microsoft Corporation. Okay, these services that are being stopped are absolutely normal. There's going to be uh, plenty of normal services that are going to be stopped. In fact, you can actually speed the computer boot time of your PC by disabling unneeded startup programs. All right, so here I've just showed you a whole bunch of these scamming methods that they are going to use. I'm going to post a link in the description box so people can check out that, and it will break down more about these type of methods and scams that these people use, and hopefully people can stop getting ripped off and uh, if you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.